Hi, my name is Alex. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing my May TBR. I've only read seven books this year, so hopefully May I will be reading more. And yeah, <laughs> it's just been a slow reading year for me. School was finally done, so May I can participate in all the readathons and do all the things, so I'm very excited. I have some books that I want to read for the Asian Readathon. This was created by Red Blue Cindy and hosted by a few other booktubers and just like book community members. Um, and so I'll have the links for that down below. And this is just to read Asian authors and Asian characters because May is Asian Heritage Month. So I have some books for that. I got most of them from the library. So they're right here. And then I went to participate in Mental Healthathon, which is also happening this month. Um, so Mental Healthathon is throughout the whole month of May, and that's how Asian Readathon is too. There's also some other readathons that I want to participate in. They're just like weekly ones, so follow me on any social media, like mainly Instagram, um, and I will be posting there for my TBRs. Who knows what will actually happen. I feel like I just always say I'm gonna do readathons and then it just never happens. So that's why I like when they're month long because it's actually so much better for me. So without further ado, let's just get into the video. If you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up and let's get started. Asian Readathon has some challenges, so I'm just gonna go over the challenges and then say what book I'm reading for each challenge. So the first challenge is to read a book by an Asian author, and I chose The Love and Lies of Arshana Ali by Sabina Khan. This author is Bangladeshi, so this completes that challenge, and I'm gonna be buddy reading this with Becca from Becca with a Book. The next challenge is to read a graphic novel that is either written or illustrated by an Asian author or has an Asian character. And for this challenge, I chose American Born Chinese by Jean Luen Yang. I am so sorry if I pronounced that wrong, because I know I definitely did. I hope I pronounced that right. Um, but this is about a Chinese main character. I think that the author is Chinese as well. There's like a whole Google Doc for the readathon, which I've been trying to just go off of. And on the doc, it says Chinese. Um, so I want to say that this is own voices for Chinese representation. So very excited to read this. I haven't read a graphic novel in a while and I just need a good graphic novel. So I'm glad to say that I actually have two graphic novels on this TBR. So very excited to read this one. The next challenge is to read a book featuring an intersectional Asian character or written by an intersectional Asian author. And this just means that besides being Asian, they also are represented in a different way, like um, they're in the LGBTQ community, they have mental health or something like that. So I chose The Astonishing Color of After by Emily XR Pan. I actually started this a little bit for Rita Rama, I'm pretty sure, or no, I don't think it was Rita Rama. I think I just randomly picked it up. Maybe it was Rita Rama. Oh no. Oh no. The page is like ripped. Oh, I want to silence for a page that got ripped. So I'm really excited to read this because the beginning of it was so captivating and I just wasn't, like I just didn't have the time for it at that time. So now hopefully I will have the time for it because it sounds so good. If you haven't heard about this, it's about a girl whose mother dies from suicide and her mom comes back as a bird and it's just beautiful and I can't wait to read it. Next is to read a book by an Asian author that was originally written in their native language. So the book I have for this is actually a manga and this is my first ever manga and I'm super terrified because I don't know how manga works. Um, but this is Wandering Sun Volume 1. This is about a trans character and that's all I know and that was all I knew to pick it up because I need to read more <laughs> about um, trans characters because we just don't have enough. So I'm really excited about this. If somebody in the comments could tell me how to read manga, that would be great because I just picked this up and I realized that the front is actually the back. So I think I read it from front, from like here. Last, I'm just going to mention some books that I have that have been written by Asian authors or have an Asian um, main character and just some that I want to read um, 
because we need to have options. So the first book is actually the Rainbow Reads book for May. And if you don't know what Rainbow Reads is, it is a LGBTQ plus book club that I host. The links are down below to the Twitter and Instagram. And we are reading Seven Ways We Lie by Riley Redgate. Riley Redgate is a Chinese American author. So this is going to be perfect for this month. And this has a pansexual character, an aromantic, and asexual character. So if you want to read it with us, highly recommend. There's also a character who is biracial. So if you want to read this with us, go over to our Twitter and follow us. And then get the book, start reading, and I'll have a live show on my channel. And the next book I have is Tell Me Again How a Crush Should Feel by Sarah Farazin. This author is Iranian. And the character in this book is Iranian-American, so we love that own voices representation. Next is an arc that I have, and I have so many arcs that I need to be reading, so this is perfect. And I have Fake It Till You Break It by Jen P. Nugent, and I want to say that she is a Vietnamese author because of her last name, but I don't have any confirmation of that. Um, so I'm just going to read the book, see what happens, and see if the main character is Asian as well, because, um, from the cover it looks like it, so this is, like, iffy, but we'll see. I'm so excited. It's a fake relationship trope, and I just love that shit, so very excited. So those are all the books that I'm planning to read for Asian Nathan, um, or just like some of the potential books that I could read. If you are participating, let me know in the comments. And next, I'm going to go on to my Mental Health Athon TBR. Mental Health Athon was created by a beautiful chaos of books. Her channel will be down below and her announcement video. I am a big advocate for mental health. I always participate in Mental Health Book Bingo in January, and I just love reading books about mental health, so I'm very excited that this readathon is a thing. And May is also Mental Health Awareness Month. This readathon has a bingo board, so I'm going to be going off of the prompts and just telling you what book I'm going to read for each. The first prompt I'm going to follow is Schizophrenia Representation, and I have a couple books from this, so I'm just going to either read all of them or pick one. Um, so first I have Challenger Deep by Neil Schusterman. Apparently his son has schizophrenia or had schizophrenia, and so he pulled some of that into this book, so that's pretty interesting. I also have Made You Up by Francesca Zappia, which has a character with schizophrenia. And a last for schizophrenia representation, I have Schizo by Nick Sheff, who actually pulled from his own experiences. Next is a book with intersectional representation, and I chose a book that I saw recommended a lot by Emma Books, and I just want to read this so bad. Um, it is Four Weeks, Five People by Jennifer Yu, which also completes a challenge for reading an Asian author for Asian readathon. So, two birds with one stone. Two birds with one book. <laughs> I'm gonna read off from the Google Doc that I have just to make sure all the representation I say is correct. So this book has um, a character with borderline personality disorder, an eating disorder, OCD, depression, narcissistic personality disorder with disassociative symptoms, and it is own voices for the Asian representation and for depression and eating disorders. So this book literally helps for every single challenge. So I could just read this book for the whole mental health -athon and it would be all good. And I have another book that is similar to this and it is Are We All Lemmings or Snowflakes by Holly Bourne. And I just don't even, I didn't even read this yet, but honestly, like I already love it. And this is, a summer camp. It says, Welcome to Camp Reset, a summer camp with a difference. And this is, this has a character with bipolar disorder and anxiety. So there are just some of the books that I could read. Honestly, I have so many mental health books I could read. I also have A Girl in Pieces, which um, deals with substance abuse and self-harm. I just have so many books. So like, this was just me like showing all the books that I could read. Like, cool. <laughs> I don't know. Alright, alright, I'm done. I'm sore because I've been sitting on the floor for so long, but I hope you guys all enjoyed this. Let me know if you're participating in any of these readathons, and don't forget to go over to my Patreon, give this video a thumbs up, 
hit subscribe. If you want to be shouted out in next week's video, all you have to do is let me know in the comments down below that you have watched the whole video um, by commenting something about this video and turning on my notifications and letting me know that you have done so. Thank you all for watching. My name is Alex and I'll see you next time.